Hi everyone, I'm Betty from SSW and I'm here to share with you our proposed designs for the Brisbane office exterior. Currently, we have this design and paint. Um, at the moment, we think that it's due for a repaint simply because it looks a bit dirty and the colors are a bit off already. Um, on the first floor, you'll see such strong lines between the white and the gray. And even on the main wall, you'll see like a darker green and um, a lighter green, which we don't know why there's like a strong line here as well. So we feel that um, this also the roof is a bit more excluded and it doesn't look uh, cohesive compared to the whole building. To so repaint the whole building and also add some extras to make it pop a bit more and make it a bit more exciting. So I would like you to take a look at the awnings and also the colors and the signage because those are the main things that we're going to change in the next option. So the first option we're going to show you, we have option A and the, the colors are mainly gray, um, light gray and black and a touch of red. So if you see from the first floor to the top floor, there's a bit of a gradient going on here. So at the, at the bottom, you'll have a darker gray and at the top, especially on the roof, it's um, light gray bordering actual white already. And the awnings are replaced with black awnings, black that are more sleek in a different material. So I'm gonna go back and forth so that you can see the difference. And we have a touch of red at the, at the middle of the building. We also would like to add more plants around the building. Um, it doesn't have to be real plants because of maintenance issues, but um, if we could find fake plants that look real, that would be ideal. Um, we're also going to change the 471 light box. So this is the light box. If you go to our first option, um, the 471 signage is replaced already with the backlit physical number option. So it's in black and it could be backlit in white or yellow. And we have a dynamic LED display here that could have the signages. So it's basically any design that we want for our signage for all the establishments here, or we could also have rotating ads here, like whatever we want since this is going to be dynamic. Now let's move on to option B. Option B is basically the same with the addition of a robot mural. So the robot would be painted on around the wall and inside this window, it's going to be more of like a perforated wrap. So think about those bus ads you see where from the outside, you can see the artwork clearly, but from the inside, you can still see through and see the outside. So that's the idea behind this. Um, we plan on, we, this doesn't have to be the final design. And as I'm gonna show you option C, which is very similar, but with a different robot. So this is more of a more futuristic robot, we feel, as compared to option B, which is a more retro analog style or type of robot. But either way, this is a proof of concept that we wanted to show you so that you have an idea of what the mural could be and like the potential of, of this wall to be a bit more playful and eye-catching. Now I'm gonna show you option D. Option D is basically the same thing. Again, we're going, one step higher for each option. So this still has the paint, this still has the wrap on the windows, but this will have a physical head of a robot at the top of the building. So think about all those art installations you see where there's mixed medium. We have um, a painted wall, we have the decal or the wrap on the windows on the glass, and we have a physical robot sitting at the top of the building. Now, what will this look like at night? So we plan to add LED lights, white and red LED lights. So during nighttime, you'll find the white lights along, along the roof and the window awnings, and you'll find a red light along the red line or the red paint at the middle. So again, the backlit signage and LED dynamic display would be great at night as well. Option B, this is what the mural will look like. It's still gonna look good at night. And option C, similarly, will have the same look and feel. And now for option D, the addition of the physical robot at the top gives us an extra detail or extra opportunity to add more lights. So we plan on adding 
lights on the eyes of the robot so that it doesn't have to glow like the whole head doesn't have to glow but we feel that lights piercing through the eyes would give it like a more mysterious feel and add to the sleekness and the sexiness of the whole uh, design and there you have it so you have your four options a would be the paint, the additional plant, the awnings, and the LED lights, whereas B and C would have the mural, and D would have the mural plus the physical head at the top of the building. Thank you for listening. This has been Betty from SSW, and we hope you like the options that we presented. Thank you.